Hey, salutations, Rancho. It's Thursday, and you know what that means. It means the bulletin. It means me and Steven, us, greedily robbing 10 minutes of your day. So uh, let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance right, right. now. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So let the time robbing begin. Yes. Yeah. So speaking next year, you know, it's not too late to sign up for ROP classes for the summer and the fall, such as child care, graphics, and, and TV video, video too. Video production, that's right. That's right. If you have any interest, you can be just like me and Armin here. That's fun, right? Yeah. Yeah. Three times. Yeah. So, guess what? We got two special things on the bulletin two? today. That's right, two, Stephen. Wow. Yeah, two. Wow. Count them. One, two, Teacher of the Week interviews. Two Teachers of the Week interviews. That's right, two. One, two. And we got someone special to do that. Our very good friend, you can't miss him, Chris Hine. Chris he Hines. glows. Ladies Chris and Hines. Hey, thank you, Armin and Steven. Best buddies. Hey, I'm here with the Teachers of the Week. Hey, Mr. Reinhardt. Hey, how's it going, Rancho? What's up? So, how does it feel about being Teacher of the Week? Feels good, definitely. Uh, both Mr. Reinhardt and I, I think uh, we work hard to try to incorporate uh, student achievement and all the Esslers that the teachers have been working hard with. Definitely, I believe in my students, and uh, I definitely think that I mean, students reflect who I am, definitely. However, the, all of Rancho is a good staff of teachers. Yeah, definitely, Mr. Tom. I don't know if you know this or not, but it's the students who make the recommendations for Teacher of the Week. So um, that's really nice to get noticed by the students. So uh, we'd like to thank you guys for your uh, for helping us in that matter, I guess. Cool beans. So what do you guys do in your spare time? Uh, well, Mr. Reinhardt and I, we uh, sometimes we go surfing together on the weekends. Uh, if we're not lesson planning and grading and trying to incorporate the California State Standards and the Esslers into our lesson plans, I think that uh, we enjoy the beach and uh, we try to go surfing as much as we can. Yeah, we also got a little side uh, rap group going on as well. We just like sing all history songs, like Cuban Missile Crisis, if you want to check us out. Definitely. I think our first track will be out uh, next Tuesday. Who was Kennedy? I think it was. Yeah, definitely. definitely. All right. All right. So you have to go definitely check out your nearest uh, music store. Definitely. That'd be great. And last question. So, um, you know, a lot of people, students, look up to you. You know, how do you make that happen? Uh, well, again, it's... Well, go ahead. You start. Well, that's a, I mean, it's a tough question. Um, I don't know. I like to just, uh, I like to have fun in the classroom. I like to be enthusiastic about not only what I teach, but uh, being enthusiastic with the kids and try and make it in not only in a learning experience, but an enjoyable experience in the classroom as well. Yeah, I believe my students. I definitely, I think my students can say that I believe in them and I, I think they can do the best they can and they can do anything they would like to do in their lives. And I try to incorporate that vision into them and I think it definitely reflects why they look up to us. Definitely. Cody, All right. Holler. <laughs> Oh, did you want to say something else? Actually, I would if you don't mind. Oh. Um, I was just wondering for students, faculty, anybody, has anybody seen David Too Good lately? You know, Mr. Reinhardt, I think, I don't know where he is, but I found these, so maybe uh, I'm not quite sure. Chris reporting for RCHS Bulletin. Thanks, Mr. Reinhardt and Mr. Tom. Now, Stephen. Yes? <laughs> if you really want to see more of Mr. Reinhardt and Mr. Tom, or anything else, you know, crazy that's <laughs> happened. Crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, please make sure to think about buying a video yearbook. Now, I think our friend Kevin Vallejo has a little bit to say about that. Yeah, Kevin Vallejo does. You know what that means. Let's work for me. What up, Rancho? I'm going to O2. This is Derek. Just want to say congratulations for all you guys for making it this far. Thanks to all my friends for always being there. Hope Another you guys have a good rest of your life. All right. Hey, what's up, class O2? This is Heather. I just want to congratulate all of you guys on a good senior year. And I hope you guys all have fun in college and good luck. Hey, seniors. I just want to say congratulations. It's not a question, but a lesson learned in time. It's something unpredictable. Hey, uh, seniors. I love you guys. All right, Lane. All right, yeah, it's yo. Say, you know, congratulations to everybody's graduating and stuff. Hopefully everybody's graduating. You know, I had a great three years here. You know, it wasn't here for, but, you know. What's up? I'm Brandon so Gaten. Take the photographs and one. friends and Shout out to all the homies out there. My man, Nick. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
everyone does the best and wish the best for everyone after they graduate. What's up seniors? Uh, this year we're having a senior video and uh, if you want to put a message there to your friends or uh, the whole senior class in general, it's going to be $2 for 20 seconds. Uh, the whole video is going to be $39.95 and that's going to be payable in TV video. Sign up sheets are in uh, TV video this Friday and so uh, sign up and get yourself a video. All right, thanks, Kevin. Hey, Steven. Yes? <laughs> you know who should be in those videos? I think I do. Stan! Now, I think, as a matter of fact, you've got an interview from Stan right now. Hi, I'm Mario Enriquez, and I'm here with Melanie Washington, and she's going to tell us some information about Stan this month. Well, basically, Stan is having a very busy month. Um, on May 3rd, Stand Up is having a performance at Cal State University San Bernardino. On May 6th, we're going to have local Otico dancers in the quad during lunchtime. And on May 13th, there's going to be a stand banquet. And I want to encourage anyone that's a member of stand to come to Mr. Jeffrey's room and sign up because um, we need to know like what you're going to bring and if you're going to come and all that stuff. And then also on May 16th, we're having a food fair, and that's about it. Thank you. And this is Mario signing off. Hey, thanks, stand representative. Yeah, that was great. And you know, I think sure Color Guard has some important news, too. Let's hear it. Yeah, and who better to tell us than somebody in Color Guard? Hey, guys, this is Brennan. I'm right here with the uh, Color Guard, and they're going to tell us about their world championship. Hey, Rancho. This is Jesse. I'm this year's Color Guard captain. And a couple weeks ago, we went to Dayton, Ohio for world championships. We competed in the second highest class in the world, and we finished in eighth place. We also finished second place in California State Championship, so it was a really great year for us. Hey guys, my name's Crystal and I just wanted to let you know that if you're interested in being in Color Guard, you should come to the band room, U101, uh, May 14th, and you'll hear all about charts and everything, alright? Bye! Thanks guys, this is Brandon reporting for the Bulletin. Hey, thanks to Color Guard. Keep guarding those colors. That's right. Now, let's hear from our good friend, our best friend, your good friend too, he's real red and he can't miss him, Chris Hines. That's right. Now let's kick it over with an interview with Kevin Balejo about the newspaper. Hey, there's Kevin. I'm here with uh, Raylene Gonzalez, editor of the Cat's Eye, the school newspaper. Raylene, I understand there's a paper coming out today? Yes, Kevin, it's coming out today. Actually, teachers, please make sure you pass the second period classroom um, during SSR. So hopefully everyone likes it. We have a really good, strong issue, and I'm really proud of it. And everyone in the paper did a really good job and really good work. So please take the time and go ahead and read it. You heard it here, folks. And once again, let's take it over to Kevin Blejo with Prom Court. Hey, what's up, Rancher? This is Kevin Blejo, and I'm here to introduce you this year's Prom Court for 2002 Prom, A Midsummer Night's Dream. On the girls' side, we have Jamie, Danica, Valerie, Hope, Jesse, and Tina. And on the guys' side, we have Philip, Andy, Nick, Jeff, Joe, and Spencer. Now on one side we have the boys team, on the other are lovely girls. Now let's start off by getting to know each of them a little bit better. Ladies? Hi, I'm Jessica Brodsky and I like lots of graphics. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tina Torres and I can make my tongue look like a cloud. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jamie Tess and I love food and I can do that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Hope Snake and I have red toes. I'm both Hi, I'm Danica Lomelli and I like Valerie. <laughs> Hi, my name is Valerie, and I can't think of anything cool to say. Now the gentleman. Thanks.